even you or I have feel for driving a car on the road. You know, we, do, we don't have to think about everything we're doing. We feel gaps, judgment, it comes into play. We position the car. If we're driving a manual shift car, we can feel a gear shift where everything's gone smoothly. We can feel a gear shift where we've let the clutch out too abruptly. Feel is part of everyday movement. It's, you know, it's judging spaces when you're walking through a tight corridor. It's in other sports, it's feel, it's touch, it's rhythm, it's sweet spot, tennis, golf, football. Uh, and I think in Formula One, everybody has amazing feel. Even if Lance Stroll thought he was on a different race strategy to everybody else, I had to say that, then I think everybody has amazing feel for the job. I think some drivers... And it's possible, and I, and I touched on this earlier. I think with a driver like Max, because he doesn't have his brain cluttered with a lot of the stuff that clutters the brain in motorsport, whether it be how you got into Formula One, the debts you've got to pay, the responsibility you've got, uh, whether it's, am I going to have this drive tomorrow if I don't put the car on the pole, whether it's, I've got to pay the bills tomorrow, how am I going to do it? A million things come up. My teammate's quicker or not quicker. He's got a new part on the car that I don't have. All this stuff clutters the brain of most racing drivers because it's such a difficult sport to get to where you want to be. Whereas Max is in this incredible position, and he's earned it, of knowing what he's doing on a Monday morning and of knowing he's got a complete team believes in him 100% and is there to help him win the next race and it just happens to be the best team in the history of Formula 1 that's the position he's in so of course it gives him more opportunity to and is, is, is this coming out of the heading of feel I don't know but as I was describing earlier that business of reading the right way to pass Carlos Sainz without any issues that comes under feel really it's feel for the for the other guy and it's feel for what his car is doing and max could see the rear tires were going off at exactly the moment they started to go off and feel for what to do with his car so a lot of it in that sense is actually that feel is actually created by circumstance or helped by circumstance as distinct from just something that max naturally has of course he naturally has it it's just that He's in a position and he's created a situation where he can really touch touch it and make it real. Whereas other drivers are currently sort of basically all wearing boxing gloves all the time and can't really feel everything they want to feel. In terms, of, I, I think I know what you're getting at though. In terms of the short corner driving and that feel for doing it correctly, I think that is an innate God-given feel for when he's strapped in a car or sitting in a car and he's got the steering wheel in front of him and everything's moving and he can, he can feel the car and what it's doing on the track he innately feels the right moment to brush the brake pedal and squeeze the brake pedal and hit the brake pedal hard and then to slightly turn the wheel and then to give it more i think all of that it does require practice a lot of practice and it requires the car to be as he needs it to be in order to do that all of which requires experience and practice but nonetheless that feel for knowing what he wants in order to be doing that is innate i think it was innate in Jim Clark, it was innate in Sterling Moss, it was innate in Alberto Ascari, it was innate in Tatio Nubalari, it was innate in Georges Boileau, it was innate in Juan Manuel Fangio uh, and others, uh, and many others uh, over the over a long period of time in, in Formula One history. And, and that is innate. But some drivers have the luxury that they've earned that enables them to really massage that innate feel, whereas other drivers only touch it irregularly. Carlos Reutemann, good example. I think he had that innate feel, but because he was so... Uh, his brain was very complicated by a lot of the stuff going on around him all the time, driving for Bernie and then driving for Ferrari and then Colin Chapman and then Alan Jones and Williams. He never really had a clear passage and so therefore he he only touched infrequently that god-given amazing talent that he had nigel mansell defied all odds of not you know, all the things that conspire to hide to prevent you from touching and feeling your innate talent hit nigel in the first half of his career 
and he still came out with everything intact so that when he had a proper car and, and, and finally had a decent team that he could race with, it was all there. And that was that defied all logic. It's the only driver that I can think of that's ever happened. And he, and he was as good as at the end of his career as he would have been had he had a perfectly uncluttered career. Um, so I hope that kind of answers it. But it is natural. It is natural. And some guys are born to kick footballs incredibly well. Some guys are born to hit tennis balls. Some guys are born to be pole vaulters. Some guys are born to be racing drivers. And racing drivers means to me that innate feel for being able to drive the car on the absolute physical limit of what is possible as distinct from on the edge of disaster that's a different thing altogether and that's what makes formula one so intriguing i think is to see that periodically and we're seeing it with max at the moment and we should really celebrate that i think <laughs>